2023 is the year that keeps on giving, or more importantly, it's more like it's the year of apologies. You keep getting them time and time again. We already have our iconic one that will probably go down to history books from Colleen Ballinger and her little ukulele apology, if you want to call it that. But now there's another one that has come out recently that it eluded me for a while, but now I have caught up on the lore and it has to do with Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Now you might be wondering, whoa, 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 what about them? And you probably already heard about this considering I'm late to this topic. But if you haven't heard about it, let me fill you in. So for those that don't know, Danny Madison has been sentenced for 30 years in prison for sexual assault slash rape. And part of that situation was Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, and Danny Madison were all part of the 70s show. Now, with that being known, you're probably like, well, what's the issue? What's going on? Why would Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis have to do an apology? Well, it's because they were asked to write a character letter about Danny Madison and what they think of him and how they view him. And the problem was those letters got leaked and they weren't exactly what people were expecting. Instead, it was pretty much uh, the akin uh, of, well, he's a great guy. How could he have done this? There's no way. The, psh, uh, the, the charges that has, are going against him, clearly those are wrong. The guy that we know, no shot. And so a lot of people on the internet, especially victims, were upset and rightfully so. Yeah, this headline isn't exaggerating or lying. Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis wrote letters in support of Danny Madison ahead of rape sentencing Kutcher called him a role model. <laughs> oh, wow, a rapist, a role model, oh boy. But you know what, maybe there is a reason for it. I always like to do this in every video. I like to, you know, give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe there's some thorough explanation in his letter that just explains it all. And we're just like, oh, spoiler, it's not really gonna happen. But you know what, that's why we all go to sleep every night so that we can dream. <laughs> So before we get to their apology, I must give you the lore and actually update you on how this all comes and why people are not even going to believe their apology to begin with and why you probably won't either after I read this, but this pretty much says it right here. Kutcher and Kunis wrote letters in an effort to urge the judge for a lesser sentences. In Kutcher's letter, he referred to Madison as a role model. In Kunis' letter, she vouched for Madison as an exceptional character and referred to him as an outstanding older brother figure. Wow, what, what glowing reviews. So right here, Madison had been facing 30 years to life, which is the maximum sentence by law. His defense was asked for 15 years to life so that those who wrote letters to the judge were likely aware he would be getting at least 15 years in prison. On Thursday, he was sentenced to the maximum 30 years to life in downtown Los Angeles. He was eligible for parole when he is 77 years old. It said in Kutcher's letter, he writes, while I'm aware the judgment has been cast as guilty on two counts of rape by force and the victims have a great desire for justice, I hope that my testament to his character is taken into consideration in sentencing. I do not believe he is an ongoing harm to society and having his daughter raised without a present father would be a tertiary injustice in and of itself. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Dog. That's literally invalidating all the victims and all the evidence that have been put out. You have pretty much said, fuck you victims. He's not a big deal. What are you talking about? Are you stupid, dog? The guy is a rapist. Why? He shouldn't be near any kids. He shouldn't even be by his own kids. He's a danger to society. What are you saying? That, oh, yeah, he got those charges, but <laughs> what are you talking about? He's not a danger. Are y'all guys stupid? What? And then in Kunis' letter, she adds, I wholeheartedly vouch for Danny Madison's exceptional character and the tremendous positive influence he has had on me and the people around him. His dedication to leading a drug-free life and the genuine care he extends to others makes him an outstanding role model and friend. Dog, having a drug-free life is just like the bare minimum. That Like, I, how does that make you an exceptional role model? Like, the things that they're saying that he did great here, or at least what Kuna says in her letter, these are just, like, typical things. Just being a genuinely normal and okay person. They're pretty much saying from what they experienced, him just being a normal person and not being a piece of shit, or at least that's how they viewed it, was him to be an exceptional character. But then once all the information came out about Danny Madison being a rapist, and then the sexual assault and everything else with that, they're like, what? No, no. And they're like, we know that there's a case going on, but listen to us we know him better than y'all do all right like yes y'all have to look at the evidence and the facts but close your eyes act like that doesn't exist because what we're saying is better no no it's not all right you're way off the mark and the worst part is right here both kutcher and kunis wrote about madison's drug-free lifestyle and noted he was a positive force on their lives during the trial prosecutors said madison drugged women before sexually assaulting them so much for that drug-free lifestyle, right? And so pretty much they just continue to go on saying that, you know, he was a good role model in us before we were going to do something bad. He pretty much told us not to do it. Pretty much just the things that like a regular friend or at least someone you think is your friend would tell you to do. But regardless, even if all that shit is true that he stopped him from doing all these uh, dangerous acts or things that would harm them, that still doesn't excuse that he raped people and that he was charged for sexual assault. No matter how many good things you can say someone, no matter how many five-star reviews you can think of, that doesn't excuse the facts. 
and the facts are present and he has been charged. So for them to go and write that letter and send it out and say things like that, it's just so wild, especially because this has been ongoing for a while and it's not like this is brand new. I'm pretty sure they've been aware of the evidence for a very long time. And so that's why so many people are upset. And then to add fuel to the fire, Here's their uh, apology, if you will. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. Hey, I'm about to call a cap right there. That's not what your letter said. Said, well, I'm aware of his judgment has been cast as guilty on two counts of rape by force and the victims have a great desire for justice. I hope that my testament to his character is taken into consideration and sentencing. Clearly, you do not give a fuck uh, about the victims at all. If you did, you wouldn't have said something like that. That is wild that you're willing to go and put that in your apology if you will considering that your letter has been leaked and everyone can read it for themselves i am amazed that you have so much confidence to be able to say that in your video knowing that all the facts are already out there and contradicts the statement that you said in your apology a couple months ago danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing the letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. And so that's where they're apology ends but it's more like sorry that you guys caught us and you were able to read our letters that wasn't meant for you to read that was only meant for the judge to read because that's who we believe that danny madison to be despite everything else going on again if you really believe that this was uh, supposed to be just how you viewed him for the 25 years of your life and you weren't trying to undermine the victims or trying to sit there and spin it to a whole nother narrative then you wouldn't have said what you said in your own letters you pretty much said that i don't know what these victims are talking about that can't be true. What? Danny Madison's an amazing person. He He's not capable of doing those things. He's living a drug-free life. He's just a perfect role model, a star-studded, A-plus celebrity. I don't know how it's possible. That's pretty much how you word it. You pretty much said, there's no way he can do that other shit. And the most wild thing about that statement is there have been plenty of people who have done horrible crimes that have done just normal lives or they donated to a charity or they have treated dogs so well and they adopted a whole bunch of them. It don't matter how many good deeds someone does. A motherfucker raped two people. Like, <laughs> like, no matter how many good deeds you could do on this forsaken planet, it does not, it does not like counteract your bad deeds. Life does not work that way. Realistically, what should have happened was when Ashton Kutcher and Milo Kunis was asked to write a uh, character letter for Danny Madison, they should have just denied it and said, nope, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. He's a piece of shit. He's a rapist. Yeah, we're not supporting that at all. We support the victims and we will always continue to stand by the victims all the way through. That's what should have happened. Instead of them writing character letters and undermining the victims and pretty much trying to downplay the entire situation to say that this whole thing is overblown. What are you guys talking about? Come on, man. Y'all, come on, lay back on the charges. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this because I cannot believe that this actually happened and that Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are now trying to backtrack and say, what are you guys talking about? No. Uh, that that was that was really like yeah that was our letter but that wasn't our intention when clearly anyone who has read the letter can tell what your intentions were with that you were pretty much trying to find a way to get him out of prison if possible or to at least lower his sentence as much as possible because you determined that the case is not that severe or that he really couldn't be capable of doing those things which again is why victims are mad and why everybody on the internet was upset by this apology because it doesn't add anything. You don't really understand why people are upset or maybe you do it. You're just trying to undermine it and trying to play dumb and be like, well, that wasn't our real intention. But yeah, anyways, you made this far into the video. So you're giving a like, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment below what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.